Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz. Now I decided to do a video on the WZ-113GFT, the Chinese Tier 10 tank destroyer. Why, I hear you ask? And it's a bloody good question because aside from the Death Star, which is one of my tanks that I really don't like, this is probably the second most hated tank in Tier 10 for me, TD-wise. But why is that? I mean, is it really a bad tank? Well, yes and no. I'm not a great player. You know, I can play the darn thing, but I'm not a great player. And I struggle in this tank, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, okay, I'm going to show you two games where I don't struggle. But this was on a live stream, and you will see that I struggled in a few other games. But what is it exactly about this tank? What is its redeeming features? What is it that sh make, should make you go out and say, I really want the WZ-113 GFT? Well, I don't know. Because of virtually all the TDs, apart from the two American ones, the E3 and the E4, this thing doesn't have really great DPM. It really doesn't have great penetration. It doesn't dish out oodles of alpha. I mean, not really. I mean, the Aguru's better. And it's got the same alpha damage, I end alpha, as the 268, the Grill, the E3, and the E4. It hasn't got the best rate of fire. In fact, it's got one of the worst. Apart from the American TDs. And it hasn't got a great reload. Not really. It's, it's okay at 12 and a half seconds. It beats the Aguru, it beats the Fosh, beats the E3, and it beats the E4. Doesn't beat the 268 and certainly doesn't beat the grill. It doesn't have the best caliber at 152. I mean, okay, it, again, it beats the grill. Doesn't have the best aim time. Doesn't have the best dispersion. In fact, I'm trying to find what redeeming qualities this tank actually has. Okay, it's a little bit faster than the Aguru, but it's not as fast as the 268. So why would you get this tank? What what would you make you get this tank over, say, the Object 268, the Russian Tier 10? Well, I don't know, is the honest, honest answer. This thing has the second worst win rate, apart from the E4, which does have the worst win rate. I haven't thrown in the Death Star and stuff like that, and I haven't thrown in any premium tanks, but this has a win rate of like 50.79% 50, 50 compared to 50.39% of the E4. But all the other TDs are vastly superior to it. The E3 is 55% and the tank that's closest to it is the 268 at 51.87%. It doesn't even have a really good credit coefficiency at 80%. I mean, the Jaegeru, the 268 and the Grill all beat it hands down. So why would you want this tank is the honest answer because it ain't that great in fact personally and this is just my personal opinion aside from the fact that it's got pretty decent hull armor and it does apart from the e4 and the e3 which does beat it it does have pretty decent hull armor it absolutely it, it doesn't have great stuff guys it's not brilliant it's not a fantastic tank it's tricky it's not noob friendly it's not mobile. It's got a pretty decent gun, but I mean, as you saw earlier, I did a nice ammo rack, but that's more luck than judgment. Is it really something that you should be aiming for? Well, I think this tank is a little bit meh when you consider the other tanks that you can get out there. I mean, why would you go for this when you can get an Object 268, a vastly better tank? It's got better mobility. It's got a better profile. It's got better deep well the dpm is the same but it has better penetration you know and it's got the same reload the same caliber the same velocity it's basically a mirror copy of the tank but it's faster it's quicker it's more mobile and it gives you more credits so what is it with this tank to be honest with you i don't really know and i i'm yet to meet somebody who's got anything really positive and decent to say about this thing because I'm not one of them. Maybe it's good in other quarters. I don't know. But it's a tank that just doesn't endear to me. What do you think? Is it a tank that endears to you? Well, let me know. And that's been my quick take on the WZ113GFT, the Chinese Tier 10 TD. 
a tank that I think is, well, not that great. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been the WZ113GFT. By all means, comment and everything below. And stay safe, have fun, and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. Fun and happiness.